Hi there, Mrs. Elke here. Today I'm working with Aaron. Aaron, who is how old? Uh, 10 years. 10 years old already. Crazy how fast that goes. Today we are going to do a drawing and coloring of a Minecraft character. Aaron chose the Blaze. The Blaze character from Minecraft. This is an excellent chance to practice geometric solids like the rectangular prism and the cube. So if you want to do that, we did this just freehand, but if you want to use a ruler, you may want to grab that now as well and join us to create some blaze drawings. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our channel, LP Art. If they like our video, Erin, what should they do? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe below so you'll get notified when we have more videos pop up on our channel. Anything else? Like and subscribe. Happy drawing, guys. So for our project today, we're working a lot in kind of this like 3D mode. We're going to be drawing things like rectangular prisms and cubes. So this is a great review of geometric solids, right Erin? Uh, Erin says sure. Yeah. If you want these to be super awesome, you may want to consider using a ruler for a straight edge or even just like a postcard or something like that. We're just gonna eyeball it today, right? Oh yeah, you bet. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a lot of vertical lines and these are gonna be where these little elements of fire are kind of going around the actual cube, okay? So my first vertical line is gonna start a little bit off-centered and it's gonna be shorter than my finger. Next, I'm going to do some other ones that vary in height. So they'll, some of them will be a little bit higher, some of them will be a little lower. This one up here is going to be probably the highest. I, think I want my outside ones to be highest. And then it's going to get kind of lower as it goes towards the center. So I'll do another one maybe a little farther out. I want to leave some space for the cube to show through. So I'll do one here. And again, if you guys want the straight lines, feel free to use a ruler or a straight edge on your lines. So I've got five so far. Uh, I'm gonna stop right there before I do more because I wanna make these turn into cubes. So the easiest way for these to turn into rectangular prisms, not cubes, is to turn them into arrows on the bottom and you want the arrows to not be super pointed um, kind of a little bit more flat so I'm gonna go kind of like this to make my arrows it's a flat arrow not a super pointed arrow and I'm gonna do that for all of these just make these flat arrows at slight angles here on the bottom. I have to draw a bow. Now we are not drawing a bow to make bow and arrows. No, we are going to turn these into rectangular prisms. Now I'm also going to do the same type of lines on the top, but watch how I do it a little bit different. This time I'm going to do my arrow going down just like I did on the bottom. They should match with the bottom arrows. So again, trying to make them a little bit flatter, like so, all the way across my vertical lines here so that all of the pointers are pointing down. Now we connect them with more straight lines and be real careful to try to make nice vertical lines. Again, if you wanna use a ruler, this would be the time to do it. You can also use a pencil if you're worried about needing to erase. Erin and I like using markers so that you guys can see our marks a little bit better. And we're connecting all of these lines. to 
can make rectangular prisms like that. All right, now to finish off these rectangular prisms, we still need to make the top sections. And so we actually are just gonna do the opposite way of the arrow by just going up and then down so that it looks like a square on the top. Like so, or I guess a diamond if you're really uh. getting fancy here. And now you've made some very basic rectangular prisms. All right, now before I do, there are some more that are gonna be coming down here, but they are overlapping the cube. So I wanna go ahead and make, make the cube first. Now, because I'm using a marker, I don't wanna see any of the guidelines. So we're just gonna do it similar to how we drew these. Um, I'm gonna start by making the vertical line. It's gonna be kind of a little bit higher than these two, um, or even even with those two. It'll actually be a, a similar length as your other vertical lines that you did. So I'll make it to right about there. But to make it wider, my arrows need to be wider. So I'm gonna make a diagonal that goes all the way over here. It's actually gonna run into this one. And then my other one, it's kind of tricky, has to go behind this line. So I'm gonna have it go like that behind my other guy. Yep, and it's okay if it kind of runs into other ones. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Try to make these lines parallel to each other and these lines parallel to each other. And then I'm gonna connect the verticals like so. And then I'm gonna make a really flat diamond on the top. So if you want, it may help to kind of take a little dot and put it above your other one. And then that way you can just measure it like that. They're not perfect, but hopefully you get the idea. All right, now we can add a couple more of these guys kind of hanging down below. So I'm gonna do one here, and I'm only gonna do one at a time because they might overlap each other. So I wanna make this one behind this one. Watch how I do that. So I'm gonna start with the arrow on the bottom, which is the same, but on the top, I'm running into this other one. So it actually has to go behind it like that, which is why I did this one first. And then when I connect it, it looks like it's connected behind that piece. So you have to be kind of careful with how you draw these to make sure that they look like they're behind each other. I'm gonna do two more right here that are just kind of hanging down. So we'll do one right here and one right here. And we'll do the same way. So an arrow going down, arrow going down, vertical lines, so we're going to get really good at geometric solids, huh? And then the diamond on the top, diamond on the top. Yeah, it's a lot of thinking, huh? All right, we still have maybe one or two more. Maybe we'll just do one more down here in the middle. And this one's gonna go behind this one. So I'm gonna start my, my center line hanging down like this. I want this one to be the lowest. I'll add arrow on the bottom again. My arrow on the top is kind of behind this. So I'm gonna make a pretend line and then it's gonna come out here like that on top. So you have to kind of figure out where you want it to end before making the verticals for this blaze guy. And then connecting whatever you can see. So you maybe just connect that little line so it's hiding behind. To make the diamond, just add another diagonal right there. Okay. Yep. Okay, whew, pretty fancy stuff here. Now, 
The only other thing, I mean, I'm going to be adding kind of the other elements on here with color, but I do want to go ahead and put Blaze's eyes up here. So his eyes are going to be on this side of the cube since it's nice and open here. And they're just going to be these floating rectangles that are kind of hanging out here on the side of the cube. So we'll go ahead and put those in. And if you want to, you can even put the eyeballs and color them in. So you can see where he's looking. It's just kind of hanging out, looking ahead. And the rest of the excitement with Blaze, we will add with color. Now you could get super fancy and do all of the cubes or all of the squares to really make it look blocky here, or you could just kind of shade it with the color and make it so that it's not all squares. What are you thinking, Erin? I don't know. You don't know what you want to do? Yeah, blazes have like, the bottom is like, is darker. darker. Yep. And the top is like, right. Um, so I guess I can show you both right, ways yeah. and you can decide which way you want to do. So if I was going to do all of the little cubes to make it look very Minecrafty, I would take a yellow and I would maybe divide the sections into all of these little squares. And then you could color the squares, you know, lighter on the top darker on the bottom. That would be a very Minecrafty way to do it. If you don't want to get quite that fancy and do all of the little squares, which is probably what I'm going to do, I'm just going to color light on the tops of these rectangular prisms. And then I'm going to switch to an orange kind of in the middle like that. And then I'm going to switch to like a reddish brown on the bottom, like that. And that's a little bit easier than making all of the little squares. But maybe you like to get fancy and do all the little squares. That is fine too. So there is one piece. I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of my pieces. Start with yellow on the top, orange in the middle and reddish brown along the bottom. And usually with my colored pencils, I like to overlap my colors a little bit so we get some blending. So I took the yellow a little farther down and then with my orange, I'm starting overlapping the yellow a little bit so that they blend. You can see right here they're blending and then it gets into a little bit more orange and I'm taking the orange a little bit farther than I want the orange so that I can blend it with the reddish brown color that those two can blend as well. Okay, so you can try your colored pencil blending if you would like. We're gonna go ahead and work on our coloring. We will come back and show you how it's looking in just a minute. Okay, so now we have a lot of our coloring done as you can see, finishing up our last touches of blending yellow, orange, and Aww. reddish brown. And I guess the only other thing I was gonna let you guys know is if you wanted to add the smoke that kind of comes with this blaze character, that would just be a lot of little boxes of black or dark gray that kind of float above and kind of in between some of these. So you could add those too, but we're just gonna stick with our Blaze character here and have him looking cool, I mean hot, <laughs> as he is uh, hanging out here in our Minecraft realm. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Let us know how your Blaze drawings went and if you have any other Minecraft characters you would like us to try please let us know. My kids are very big into Minecraft right now. They are enjoying building all kinds of cool worlds, houses, you name it. So they're always informing me of all of the characters and the stuff that they come across. Right, Erin? Yep. Yep. And Erin, you chose Blaze again. Why? Because it spits out fire charges and make huge explosions. All right. Good reason. I just thought he looked cute. So, you know, 
All right. Thanks for watching guys and join us again soon.